We are over here at Johnson. What do you just look at that beautiful 465 RC? Haters gonna hate, but I love it. Anyways, saw the little unit. We made a couple bales with it. Made them so tight that as you can see in the one video, we couldn't even stick the bell probe into the bales. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, I thought you were gonna soft core it. That is a soft core. I can make the soft core softer. Yeah, make it softer. Because that's not soft. You can't oh, get Oh, that's also like. Get the moisture probe. Oh, dang it. Might have went a little too full send on my first attempt. Well, we know one thing for sure. It makes a heck of a tight bale. I definitely need to turn the pressure down a little bit. Did you even put that on a bale spear? No, that's the thing. You can't make it quite you got to make a softer core because otherwise yeah. we won't be able to get a spear in it. Bales definitely not going to run max pressure. Okay guys, so we are going to be using the new baler today, finally baling some dry hay with it. We got some custom work that we're doing over uh, at a town nearby for a relative. So we're gonna head over and make sure that this thing's working properly and we'll play with it some and hopefully make some nice bales. We will be chopping the hay today, I think. So yeah, we'll be able to use this baler now. See y'all there. Okay y'all, we've made it over to this field now and we're gonna go ahead and make the first bale.
Okay y'all, so I just finished up baling. This thing makes the cutest little tiny bales. Just kidding, that's the last bale and I'm able to dump it out. Thankfully, with the rolling, it was a lot harder to do this one. You just press the button and it puts out a half decent bale. So, all the bales looked really nice. Had a little issue with the net wrap, got that figured out. You can see some of the bales over here. Completely different from before. Got a nice firm core on them now. The hay is chopped very fine. You can just see how firm this bale is the whole way through until the last little bit here. But nice and solid. We use the chopper on his bales because he has ring feeders which he feeds them into and if we left the hay long his cattle would have a very hard time tearing it apart so since we chopped it hopefully it'll kind of fall apart when he takes the net wrap off. Okay guys just look at that tractor and baler. I think it looks pretty sweet. Oh yeah. So now the last thing to do since we've been bailing is gonna go release the pressure. All the way, turn the pressure off. And we're good to go. So now we're gonna shut the monitor off and head home. So I'm gonna take the 695 over to home and dad cut some hay down in front of the chicken pens. We just need to go and get the hay rolled up so dad has an easier time moving the fresh chicks and chicken pens on the short grass. Okay, I'm gonna run home now with the Kubota and baler and roll up that uh, junk hay that we're just gonna spread out in front of the cows. Since we do not have three remotes yet, we only got two. Uh, now I'm doing infield setup, so I'm gonna drop the header down and put it in float. Now I'm gonna go back, and once I'm back here, I unplug this hose, and I take these two hoses, plug them in, Okay, now I'm gonna fire the monitor up. And it's gonna load the baler settings. So now I'm going to take this, uh, the pressure is turned back on, I'm gonna go to the next page, set my pressure. Uh, we're just gonna go most of the way up this time, we're gonna go all the way to there. And then we're going to take our soft core size down because we are not storing these bales. We're just going to feed them directly to the cattle. So I'm going to take my soft core size to there. I went a little full send on the pressure since I knew we wouldn't be storing these. 22 and a half. I know these bales are too wet to be making for dry hay, but since we're feeding them to the cows right away, it doesn't matter. We just got to get them off this field. I also went a lot higher on the pressure than I normally would. Didn't go the whole way, but I did go pretty high.
The nice thing is about this baler is the fact that we actually, when we're finishing on a field, can make a half decent um, small bale. Our old baler, if you didn't have a full bale, you would dump out a floppy little amoeba. A floppy amoeba, something like that, and it would always just be a mess everywhere. These are not that way. They aren't going to stack the best with the rest, but you can always throw them on the top of the stack and they're going to work out just fine. Also, another nice little thing here is since this baler has the electronic tying, it makes the calculation to know um, how much wrap it is putting on the bale. So a manual set baler, if I make a small bale, it's going to wrap it a lot more. I have it set for 2.2 wraps even when it made a bale that's quite a bit smaller it still has two wraps and overlaps right here whereas normally it would have three or four wraps if it was a manual tie baler so mom came out and uh went to get some video shots of me bailing real quick and she had her phone with her and her phone fell out of her pocket and i ran it over it's actually twisted and it does no longer work so she's got to get a new phone but anyways the things you do for youtube <laughs> okay y'all i have the baler the tailgate is up right now i drop the drop floor and the knives down don't worry the tailgate's locked up so i'm safe and uh i'm going to start by getting this thing just all blown out